Hi there, um, Tina here. I was just outside working and just a message came through that felt like it wanted to be shared and I am going to do my best to act on those inspirations because in all honesty I've been um, suppressing them just due to personal discomfort. <laughs> Being an empath in these uh, times is a little challenging sometimes. Um, okay, so with everything that's going on right now and the division that we're experiencing, um, I believe that everybody's intention is to be acting in a loving way. And so this just came through as a little reminder how to be able to discern when we are acting in fear or when we're acting in love. So because everything is energy, fear and love have very distinct energies. Or vibrations but the energy of fear is exclusive meaning you push something away the energy of love is inclusive so if you can identify you know are you pushing anybody away any group of people away um, are you excluding them from life then you're acting in fear if you are being inclusive of everybody <laughs> as best you can which that's what we're this is what we're learning right now we are shifting from conformity consciousness and it is so present on the surface right now it's all come up to the surface and we're seeing that <laughs> i think that's obvious um, but we are shifting from conformity consciousness to unity consciousness and again I've said this before but the mantra if there's a mantra for either just so to be able to understand them the mantra for conformity consciousness is I'm right you're wrong if you don't agree with me we can't get along so within that it's obvious where there's exclusivity if we're pushing people away we're in fear the mantra for unity consciousness is I live in loving acceptance of all that is that is ultimate love and as humans we have not been practiced in living that way we are evolving now we are ascending to those higher levels of consciousness within ourselves and in our surroundings and so all the lower vibrations are getting really triggered and brought to the surface because of this so this is the part of the process it's messy holy crap it's messy <laughs> but this is just just it's just what it looks like i don't know if anybody of us really foresaw all of this um, although it makes perfect sense to a lot of us um, a lot of people it's not making sense and so it's really challenging to say the least <clears throat> it's probably challenging for everybody I think that's very fair to say so the idea too of unity and, and living in that way living in loving acceptance of all that is is literally a different world so we've really only known the conformity and even if we didn't think we were living in conformity we were we absolutely were um, if we have negative judgment and you know anytime we make those comments or um, the the whispers or the you know that's conformity because there's certain ideas that have been present within our world that um, have been holding the expectation that we are all supposed to abide by those ideas and our systems have been set up um, reflecting those ideas and we are now realizing they don't work um, and so now it's time to really dismantle and dissolve the old world create the new world and it's there's literally parts of us that are being like almost ripped off so i mean if you're feeling discomfort that makes sense and it's valid <laughs> okay so hope this uh maybe feels at all helpful today and uh hope you're feeling relatively balanced breathe <laughs> keep breathing now more than ever just keep breathing in that love for yourself for each other um, explore what compassion means for you um, explore maybe where exclusivity is sort of driving your your thoughts and actions um, and seeing how you can learn how to be more inclusive okay so much love to you bye